Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. Now today we're doing another uh, brewery that I've not had before, it is the um, Northern Monk Brewery and with today we're looking at the Northern Monk's Patrons Project 7.03. Have a look, look at this can, this is beautiful. Now, I've not had any Northern Monk stuff before and um, this one was is, uh, acquired by myself at the Hellsby um, Beer Heroes. Um, this beer weighs in as an 8.2%. It's a blueberry wild ale. It's a 440ml can. Uh, best before is the 26th of sorry, 27th of June 2018, and it's right down there. I uh, now what I do know about these cans and their stickers is that they peel off. And it really gives you a whole host, a whole raft of information. Now, I will read this to you. Right, so, the work of the photographer Esben Borg, Esben Borg Jensen, is a glimpse into moments of everyday life that makes it worth living. The intimacy of, walking, uh, of waking up with someone you love, the overwhelming beauty of nature, and the peacefulness of spending time alone. Much like the, the, the diary entries, his work is authentic moments captured, not by writing, but by camera, and released to showcase that such beautiful moments of life are easy to find if you only care to look for them. Uh, Northern Monk Patrons is an initi is initiative set up to foster collaboration, creativity and community between artists, athletes and creatives across the North and, in across the north and includes supporters for Battle Lines, James Butler, uh, Finn Gatherer, Hide and Seek, Nomad Clan, Tom Joy, Jack King, Ricky Lightfoot, Drew Mill, uh, Millward, and then to find out more, it's www.northernmonkpatrons.com. Uh, I say the can actually, this is just, as a, as a can alone, that is just super duper. Um, it says this is the last in the uh, Cessna series that we wanted to. We wanted to uh, Bookend the trilogy with something we can really celebrate. Before this collaboration with Ale Farm was in place, we admired them for their mix of fermentation saisons. So, uh, so of course, it only made sense to brew one as part of the series. For the primary fermentation, we used the same yeast as the previous three saisons, which is the WLP five six five yeast. Uh, the secondary fermentation, uh, hang on, uh, went into add for the Brunanesis. Uh, that's what it looks like. Then for the second fermentation, the the uh, Brooks Brooks that's better. There's a wild yeast that performs in the same way as the uh, Brettominaceae, and is known uh, for harboring a variety of slightly sweet flavors such as delicate mango and pineapple, which contrasts the balance nicely with an earthier notes of the WLP565 and ultimately creates a harmony of dry, tart and sweet fruit flavours. We conditioned the beer on a 20, um, 200 kilos of blueberries to really draw the flavour whilst utilising the tank space from our original flax store site to let the beer condition for roughly two months. Um, we wanted to, to grant the beer time to condition to allow for the blueberry flavour to shine through as much as we hoped, it, 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 um, much as we hoped when we first dreamt the idea. I'm tasting the beer over several weeks and admiring that it's um, aesthetically pleasing deep purple hue. We're excited to say it's finally ready to be brought out into the world. The ingredients are water, barley, wheat, blueberries, hops and yeast. So 200 kilos of blueberries are going to this. Not this can, but this batch. So, without further ado, let's pop the top and see what it looks like. As I say, I've got no idea what to expect from this. I'm hoping it's going to be purple. And I am not disappointed. Look at that. It looks like Vimto. Blueberry juice. Oh, the smells. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. From here, and it's a good. Three inches, four inches away from my face. 
I can smell the fruit. Put the light to it. It's a little bit hazy. We've got a finger of pink head. Bubbles are all over the place. Medium bubbles. There's a nice little bit of carbonation streaming up from the bottom of the glass. Um, there you go. So, let's see what she smells like. Mmm. It just blueberries all over the place. And there's a little touch of sweetness. Oh, that just smells bloody gorgeous. I'm looking forward to this. Let's taste. Oh, wow. Oh, that is absolutely bloody delicious. That's fantastic. It's blueberry juice with a little bit of alcohol burn right at the back, and it's just dead subtle. That is just quality beer. It's refreshing. It's crisp. But the blue, oh, the fruit in it is just mmm, mmm, mmm. And then the sweetness goes, you get the sweetness from the fruit, and the sweetness dies away. I leave you with a nice little dryness and a touch of the alcohol. Just to remind you that it is 8.2%. That is possibly one of the best beers I've ever drank. Sorry, this is one of the best beers I've ever drank. Oh, that is so good. I don't have the vocabulary to describe how good this is. The body is really light. The carbonation is a little bit of a medium, so you get a little bit of fizziness on your tongue. That that goes away, and it's just sweet. Like that. Sweet fruits, sweet blueberries. Two hundred kilos into a batch. That's a lot of fruit. There's a subtle bit of yeastiness about it, but it's not offensive. But as I say, that's just goes, and then it leaves you with. Little lovely little dry, little dry taste. Maybe you're wanting more, maybe you're wanting to go back and have another go at it. Banging, <laughs> absolutely banging. If you can find this in your area, because I'm not sure what the distribution is on a Northern Monk beer, that is just so good. There's little bits floating around in it, but that doesn't bother me too much. drink really drink a lot of this really drink it and I don't and I, I wouldn't bother me I'd feel the 8% after a few but this is the oh this is brilliant future absolute future what these guys and, and what the likes of cloud wars are doing is just sensational absolutely sensational a little bit, you can see. There's a little bit at the bottom there. That's bits of the sediment. Or some, or some. Oh. I want another one. That's so nice. I could do two of these easy. I think I paid best part of £6 for this can. And I'll tell you now. This is worth every penny of the six pound. There's a little bit left, get in. Worth every penny of the six pound that I paid for this. I think it's about six pound, maybe five pound eighty-five. It was in the high end of the high end of the five pounds. But that is sensational. I stand by that that is one of the best beers I've ever drank. I'm not gonna go on anymore. I've I've banged on about it far too much. Hey Liel everybody. Get it, Haley Ale.